so. It's been pretty restrained so far this season, with just one of the Premier League managers losing their job so far. But by January last season, eight out of a possible 20 had gone already. Now, Liam, this is a subject you've written about before. Yeah. But you actually think there is room, or a, there should be a call for, a transfer window for managers. I do. I think the time has come. I think, I think not just in the Premier League, I think across all four divisions going down to the conference, there are a lot of managers losing their jobs after three, four games. You see Kevin Nolan at Notts County lose his job very early at the start of the season. Harry Kuehl comes in two months later, he's out of a job at Notts County. And when the manager changes at a football club, it changes everything. Recruitment, policy, principles of play, strategies, ways of working. I think if you give a manager a set period of time, it makes recruitment of managers be become more thorough. I don't think clubs do near enough homework on the managers that they're looking to appoint. I think then you take that pressure off. If there's a couple of results that don't go managers' way, all of a sudden Skybet don't come out and say this, this man's 5-1 to one in the sack race to lose his job. That pressure from fans isn't there because everyone understands, hang on, he's got this job until January, we need to support him. And players in the dressing room can't cause that fuss and commotion that sometimes you get in a dressing room when you lose games of football and you have whisperers going up to chairman, players who are close, are them. it's not working with the manager. You know, if you have that manager for a set period of time, that's how long you've got him for. Yeah, Emma, you're a manager, so I'm expecting you to, as the manager's union say, fully agree with this. Of course, Would I be right? wholeheartedly. I mean, it makes absolute sense. Therefore, I doubt football will do it. <laughs> you know, the, reali <laughs> the reality is, the, a change in manager doesn't necessarily mean a change in results. There's enough evidence to suggest that if there is, it's so marginal, is it worth the financial and just emotional cost to the, the whole organisation? The reality is, if you've committed to a manager and a manager's struggling, the manager is just a representative of the whole team. I think if there's a transfer window, it would be about getting behind that manager and back them through that period to try and turn something around. And if at the end of that period it doesn't work out, because sometimes it doesn't, that then the club is in a position to reappoint. And it's done in a way, one, where I think it doesn't drive a betting industry, hedging bets throughout the season. It, 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 I think it quietens, quietens that down for a period of time. It doesn't, it doesn't start early on talking about, oh, is, is, this, player, is this manager going to go after four games? You, you can't make that bet anymore. But more importantly, it brings stability. Stability, continuity are two of the most important facets behind success and successful environments. And I think it would be a necessary change in the game. Let's be clear, though. The betting is a byproduct of the, turn of man of the yeah. turnover of managers. It's not a reason behind it. No, but it's an industry that is driving, you know, arguably the sackings of managers. How is, it, how is it driving it? You, you can't say the club owners or chairman are, are looking at a, a manager's situation and saying, OK, we'll get rid of him because of the gambling industry. No, but I think it's, it's, a, it's, it's a story. You can, you can hedge a bet, create an edge, you know, tell a story around a, you know, a manager potentially going. Um, that in itself becomes a news story. You can drive up that interest. It can create unrest with owners saying, well, listen, do the fans really want our manager to go? It can create unrest in the dressing room with play players watching television saying, oh, look, our manager's odds on to leave. Mm. By removing that and removing that doubt where it can't happen until the, the, another transfer window, I think it brings the stability to the team, the club. They focus on the results that are needed. Well, take, take into account what Emma said there about the, the improvement, the, the marginal gains by changing the manager. But what when you are a club, when... Clearly, it's not working. Mm. He's, the manager has lost the, the old expression, the but players, I and that club is potentially going to get relegated if he stays in the role. No, I, I understand your point. I think sometimes the easiest person to look at at a football club is the manager when there's financial mismanagement, when there's poor recruitment that are out of the manager's control. I think it's really easy when results don't go the way of managers to just solely look at the manager. And I think if you create a managerial transfer window, clubs need to get all of the other processes in order, their recruitment, the way that they scout, the way that they work in terms of their principles of play. And also then, I just think it creates a better environment for football. I think it protects clubs. You have a manager comes in, wants to sign 11 new players all of a sudden after three months, and those players that you've signed on three, four-year contracts are not needed by the club anymore. I just think it, it makes sense for the game. And I think in, in terms of 
in terms of the best products you want to see, in terms of taking away all the sideshows and all of the things, the manager losing his job, people bringing banners and Steve Bruce getting a cabbage thrown at him um, earlier in the season, I think it takes that, that edge away. When everyone knows, look, we've, we've got three months till the end of the transfer window, can this manager turn around our fortunes? If he doesn't then, then there's a window then to really recruit properly and get in the right man for the job at the right time. And I think having a managerial transfer window helps that process massively. Well, there's some strong cases for there, but do either of you honestly think that club owners would vote for it? I think if they have sense and they believe in their process, then they would. I That's not why I asked. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah I, th true. I think you, you, you got two, two thinkers here that would like to see that in. And I think you only have to look at the best businesses. Let's not talk about football. The best businesses won't turn over their CEOs at the level that football turn over their managers. Why? Because stability, vision, strategy, all of those things are intrinsically linked. I think in football we have such short-termism in our mm -hmm. behaviour. Yes, it's a results business, but in, in order to get results, it's not as simple as just change all the time. Change management is effective at the absolute emergency mm. point. Beyond that, if a club's working in a collective direction to try and solve a crisis, whatever that looks like, instead of, oh, we've lost four games on the trot, we need someone else to come in and do that. Mm. Now, I think everybody gets behind that, that method. And it might not be that the manager is the only person to be responsible for that. The owners are then responsible for overturning some of the, the, the downward turn that's existing in the club at that time. What about it being mid-season as well? Because half the managers last season in the Premier League, left yeah. in mid-season. Mid-season, and you look at it, that, that is, for me, the, ch the championship is brutal, but we, we speak a lot about the Premier League and the championship, League One, League Two managers. Brutal. Uh, brutal, and they're trying, to, they're trying to fulfill their potential as managers and coaches and not getting paid nearly the wage that Premier League or championship, that some of these managers don't have mortgages, and they're being, they get their dream job, three, three games, a couple of months later, they're out of a job. Now, if we want to educate our British coaches to be better, they need to be given time to implement their philosophy, and this is another way. I'm not just talking about top level. I'm talking through our game, giving clubs stability, and also it helps financially. It helps in terms of actually having a process in place. Every club has an identity. This is the way that we're going to go, and this manager's part of it, and we can't just jettison them after two, three games because we lost by the old goal in a couple you, of them. You, you, don't, you don't go into a hospital and see a doctor, I don't know, commit, uh, take a poor surgery, do it do it really badly and say, I'm going to sack this doctor from a position. What they will say in other industries is, what do we need to learn from those mistakes? How do we help them to be even better? Mm. And how do we make sure it doesn't happen in the future? That doesn't happen in our industry. We're mm. constantly looking at a single person who is always being put out in front as the person who's responsible for absolutely everything in a football club. Mm -hmm. Instead of get behind them, support them in the right ways. The transfer window, I think, is one of the most sensitive ideas I've ever heard though I don't expect it ever to be implemented but if it were I think it would change some things all the way through the, the football pyramid the only example I can really think of which is anything remotely close is in Spain in La Liga yeah. whereby you can't employ a coach who's already works in La Liga that season yeah. so that might temper the sackings but then you would argue that just brings in coaches from outside, from outside yeah. of that particular division. Yeah, but again... Would it be a step in the right direction? To be honest, I don't know. I think it's a, it's a, it's a rule for, for, for the Spanish league. I don't think that stops seconds. I think the, the second, seconds in Spain happen. Um, what I do find interesting with the case of Solari at Real Madrid is he became an interim manager, but you can only become an interim manager for 14 days and that's it. You've got to make a decision. So. I think in terms of stability, having a transfer window helps the game in so many ways, financially, in terms of the quality of our coaching, in terms of clubs having a stability, players being stable. I just think it makes sense and I can't really see, I'd love to know what people think, I can't really see any problem with that.